Okay, people, this is Goody with another video. Um, I was having some problems with my fish flashing on to the substrate and the decorations. Um, I went to, I saw, I ran to the store and, and picked up some super it cure. I saw on on online on the YouTube there, and I picked up some prime. Um, the guy from DIY, DIY he uses that um, super it cure. Um, so I decided to go get it. Now I use I, I, when I feed my fish, I um, I add a little garlic and and, and uh, ground ginger. To their food which um, kind of cleans out the internal any internal parasites even in humans um, ground ginger is just excellent we're getting rid of any kind of parasites in the humans and I also seen this on YouTube that you can feed them the, feed it to your fish and it works the same way so I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I don't know I really don't know if I actually have the ick because I don't see any signs of it. My temperature, my water temperature is at 86. I also use the aquarium salt with a mixture of the Epsom salt. I have a pack right there. Now, all with all that, I really 100% shouldn't have no kind of parasites or, or ick in my, in my tank. Yet I see my fish flashing. So if anyone can, um, you know, let me know what's going on here. Subscribe and leave a comment. Um, I, I change my water almost uh, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Now that could be a problem also because I'm also um, taking out too much of the nutrients per fish in there. So, you know, that's why I had that Melafix. The Melafix uh, should fix that along with the stress coat. Um, the essence salt should fix their bodies, you know, and, and, and clean out their insides. So, I'm, I mean, you know, uh, I don't know. I have a hospital, as you can see. I have three silver mollies in the hospital. I'm gonna get 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 them some time to um, cure. I didn't say I didn't. I'm not saying they have anything, but I'm, I'm I need to make sure. Having a hospital is essential before you put them into your main tank, which is my 75 gallon tank up here. Um, um, uh, you know, I'm getting good circulation at the bottom of the tank. You know, if this pump ain't pulling the water that way, I have that tube, the exhaust tube coming out of my middle filter coming down, and that's putting fresh water at the bottom of the tank. And for real, for real, I, all my all three of my filters have long tubes, exhaust tubes going in, going halfway down into my water. On top of that, I have water. I have my bubbles um, just disturbing the top of the water. So I'm, I mean, I really don't understand. I really don't understand. Maybe it's something I'm not understanding. Maybe it's something I'm overdoing. Um, maybe I mean, maybe I should cut down the water um, changes to Wednesdays and Saturdays, which I had it eventually originally. Uh, you know, but I lost three fish. Three mollies over over I mean over the weekend. Now I'm also thinking that they were three male mollies because they, their fins were bit off. Um, I, I tried to have all female mollies and one or two males, but when I go to this one aquarium, this one guy who just don't know anything. Like I, I I'm just going. I, I need to find out his days that he works, so I know I'm not going there. Because he can't even tell males from females of anything. I don't even know why they have him working there, I, to be honest with you. Um, but if anybody has any suggestions, 
you know, I once again I don't see any signs of it. I don't understand why how it can be in the water because my, my I have my 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 my, my uh more heater back there and my water my temperature is at eighty six. And I had the salt in there, so like when if they even bounce off, they they're dying. They're dying. Oh, and I put the uh, super ick cure in there, so like my water is like blue. Any suggestions? Any comments? Let me know. Maybe I'm doing wrong, but I do. I thought I, I I thought I was doing enough research to find out some things, but you know. For my loaches, no, I, I have no, I have zero deaths in my loaches. Zero deaths. There's always a male fish that's dying. So I'm guessing, you know, maybe the the dominant male is ki killing off all the other males in the tank. Uh. My tank is clean. I just did with 50% water change yesterday. Now, what I can do today, what I will do at I'm done um, recording, I will do a gravel vac. Now I can hook this up in a way. I put a little floss in there inside of there, and. It'll, you know, I won't hook a tube up, an exhaust tube going down to a bucket. It'll come out of there, and I can just do a gravel, you know, gravel back like that. And I, I'm, that way I'm not disturbing or wasting my medicine or anything of, that was, of any sort. This is like, a, like like an invention I made with a power head. You know, I cut the uh, tube down, the vacuum tube down. So my power head is below water. And I, I can vacuum my thing and push the water right back into the tank. The water's never leaving the tank. Just never leaving the tank. So that's my hook up there. And, you know, anybody, I'm more than welcome to show anybody what kind of stuff I make. Because it'll help anybody out if they can survive doing a major water change. And still vacuum your gravel. I'm still vacuuming my gravel. I could do it here too. You know, just, just, you know, it's just a great thing what I, what I made there. I, um, I'm a little stumped. I don't, I don't want to be over medicating because once again, I have at least 15 loaches in there. I have, there's my uh, other loach there. He don't like to be filmed, I see. I have um, Kali loaches in there. I have Yo-Yo loaches. I also have that one loach. I uh, can't remember his name, that particular name right now. But you just saw it. And he's doing quite well. I mean, you know, I only have that one in there. I, I bought two, but one, this, the other one, I guess, disappeared. He got eaten. I don't know what happened to him. I'm, 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 I can't understand I don't know if he's still hiding in there or not but I, I've done you know some water changes and I have never seen I haven't seen him come out I also cut the light out from time to time which is what makes the loaches come out but um, anybody have any questions or suggestions leave a comment Subscri subscribe and leave a comment and please somebody tell me what I'm doing wrong because I thought I was doing all the right things. I watched the guy from DYI. I watched Corey from Co-op. I watched a couple other guys. You know. You know, it's you know that it this ick medicine has so far has not messed with any of my loaches. Of course, and the rocks and the salt. It's just not messing with them at the moment. I, know, I haven't seen any die. I've, of course, I've, I've had three Mollies die the other day. I'm thinking because, you know, they were males. And I had a dominant male in here. 
I think he got they got killed off. You know, you know, this is like you know the fish are like a harem thing. You know, one male per all the all the females as far as for what I can see. One male wants them all to himself. And, and, and you know, since those two males have died, you know, my fish are a lot um, more subdued. There's no one being, there's no one chasing them. You know, that's what I was trying to eliminate. But once again, this one guy at Worldwide Aquariums is just a nutball. He just you ask him to give you some females, he says, all right, all right, all right. I don't know what females are like. Well, what, well, how do you have that job if you can't, you, you're not even doing your homework. So I, I'm gonna make sure I, when, I make sure he's not there when I'm going in. I need to find, I'm gonna find out his days so I know I'm, I, I can go those days. He, he t when he takes a day off, that's when I'll go. Cause he's a total moron. Yes, Worldwide Aquariums. He's a moron, people. One guy. I think you know who I'm talking about. I don't want to say too much more because I don't want to seem like I'm prejudiced or whatever. But that guy, that one guy, just don't know a thing in Worldwide Aquariums. He is booty. Don't go there where he's back there. He doesn't know a thing. He doesn't know males from females. He couldn't tell you what's going on. He couldn't tell you how to do things. He couldn't tell you what fish are compatible with what. He's just he just has a job. You know, I mean, I hope he doesn't lose his job over this. But he, send him to to the fish school, please. Worldwide aquariums, send him to a fish school. Cause the other guy with the glasses knows what he's talking about. You know, he's more friendly. You know, that guy, the, the guy I'm talking about that doesn't know anything, he's a, had a nerd, had, has the nerd to have an attitude when, you know what I mean? He's a peon, a total peon. People who go to Worldwide Aquarium, find it, make sure you go with the guy who had, who wears the glasses in the fish, in, 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 in the fish part. Because the other guy is just retarded. You know, he keeps giving me males. I ask him to give me females. And then I come home, you know, I wake up in the morning and my males are floating because this moron don't know. You know, this, these fish cost money. Whether they're three, two, or one dollar. That one dollar can make me a millionaire. Yes, worldwide aquariums. The guy without the glasses in the fish department, don't let him, just leave. You see him, you leave, cause he's doing. He's not doing your fish tank any good, or your pockets, or your money, or your investment. This is an investment that he's just destroying right now. You know, three three fish died because of him. Like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Please, someone let me know what I'm doing wrong. If I'm doing anything wrong, peace.